Ladies and gentlemen, here we are at Dragon Shores. This is the final episode of Spyro 2 Riptos Rage Reignited. My name is Brian, your host and commentator. That's our portal back to Winter Tundra. If you want to head back, you can always just go to the guidebook. Pick any damn level you want to go to that way, but whatever. Let's talk to Gatekeeper well done, Niles. Spyro, step right into Dragon Shores Park. Sounds good. Ooh, there's a bunch of dudes in here. By the way, if you win 10 tokens, you can visit our theater. So yeah, there's 10 tokens scattered throughout playing the uh, various mini games. There's only really three mini games. One of them's a ride. This is where you get the super flame power up. This makes those boss um, fights a cakewalk. Because you can hurt them with it. You can just damage them with it. So you just sit there and shoot them. And that's how you can go and get that skill point real easy. This doesn't count for the minigame, it just kind of dunks the Yeti, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and talk to, uh, Showman Nick. Step right up, Spyro, and take a look at what we've got for you today. Inside this here booth, you'll find some of the most vicious creatures you've ever seen. These guys are kind of like a nod to the Norks of the last game, you know? Like, I think that's why their names are like that, Niles Nick with the GN. Try the Duncan booth, sure. Here's a baseball to spit, sport. Take aim, shoot at the target, and watch as the terrifying creatures fall into the water below. But don't worry, you won't hurt them. That's good to know. Don't want to get PETA all upset. I'm hurting yetis over here. They're like, leave yetis alone. Man, what the hell? Because you gotta get closer. If you're doing it, if you're doing a jump shot. Hey, that was pretty funny, wasn't it? Take this token for being such a good shot. Hell yeah, brother. That's one token. That's our first. Have another shot if you want. Who we dunking now? Oh yeah, we get to dunk one of these earth shapers. I'm down. These guys were annoying. Fuck you. The Yeti wasn't bad. The Yeti like did himself in. You know, remember that? Easy, so Have one of these I'm, I wasn't too too worried about him, but I don't like earth shapers. And now we have the chef uh, penguin. I guess have chef bird. Shot if you want, kid. Hell yeah! Take this motherfucker out. Let's do it. You really are a great shot. Take this. It's my last token. I want to point out that unlocking this... Have another shot yeah, you can you do want. this endlessly, but... Ooh. We just got a... A Nork just chilling there. But, um... There's a code uh, that you can input that turns this off, because unlocking it... Unlocks it across all three, like, save files. In this game, it doesn't do it on Year of the Dragon or Spyro the Dragon, the other game, you know, but it does it on all these. So, uh, yeah, let's let's go to Showman Welcome Nigel. To the Dragon Shores Coaster. Here at the shores, we don't just ride, though. If you can pop all the balloons on the track, a token is waiting for you. Ready to ride? I don't remember what the code is, but you can just look it up. Just look up like turn super flame off. It's like left, left, right, right, right bumper four times in a row, and then X for Xbox controllers and then whatever the, you know, the controller configuration would be on PlayStation, but the same the motions there. would be it's square and it'd be R1, today. I suppose. I don't know if that's the actual code, but you have to press star and go to the pause menu to put it in, and then you just put it in, you'll get like a chime noise. Now we gotta jump over these turtles, we gotta get all these green balloons. This first one's pretty easy, they're all just on the normal main track. Eventually we're gonna have to, ooh. We're gonna have to start switching tracks and shit. This is the most involved minigame here, I would say. At, uh, Dragon Shores, this guy right here. Make sure you don't get caught on him, because you're going uphill, too, when you're jumping over that fool. Good job, Dragon. Here's a token for you. Alright, that's four tokens. This next one, we gotta switch Aww. tracks to get all the Looking balloons. Switch, and now you can ride more tracks. See if you can pop the balloons on these tracks too. I guess we'll find out, Watch show out out there. Yeah, it's yeah, crew. crowded track today. So there's gonna be even more obstacles. There's turtles laying on the tracks, like, come on, man, does no one clean this shit up? <laughs> All these damn, like, baby turtles laying on the tracks. Now, interestingly enough, so you just press left and right to change the tracks, by the way, it's that easy. Oh, I missed the one on the left there. No. That sucks. Oh, it's so annoying. 
That one didn't let me go left either. That's weird. Why? Was I not pressing it soon enough? Maybe. We'll see. Let's see if this guy comes back around. Yeah, he does. So if you do, so it does reset it, I guess. But not going off to a side route that does not reset it. All right, let me make sure I'm holding left here this whole fucking time. There we go. Maybe I was holding it at an angle that was kind of forward as well. Sucks, because I could have gotten this all on the first try and just make one loop-de-loop. -loop. I think it keeps you on the left-hand side, so you got to hold right to go back and be ready for that. Look out for that turtle there. You'll have to jump over him. It's kind of a surprise, but that's your hint right there. So it's like, hey, we weren't that unfair. I think we might get all the balloons before we even have to jump over that um, turtle. Yeah, we don't even have to worry about him. He's right there, though, right after hey, that bend. Here's another, token. another token. Let's get that third token, baby. Get all these tokens. There's one more run. You're on a roll. This time, you'll need to use the cannon installed on your car to shoot down balloons as well. Are you gonna give it a try? A try? Why not? The other gave the other ones a try. A try. I gave the other ones a try. You just press B and you have unlimited ammo and just kind of want to time it. It's pretty similar. The red balloons are the ones you want to shoot. So I missed that one. Oh, got that one though, so that's nice. Yeah, you'll probably have to come back around. Oh no, wow, I thought it would automatically keep me on that track, but it didn't. Oh nice, I got that red one though. So it does like keep you on the main track unless you press the... Uh, Button to go left or right, that's good to know. Oh man, I got both of those red balloons. Gnarly. It doesn't let you jump right here. This just goes into like a normal like video like cutscene sort of deal. There we go. Hopped over that turtle that time. Oh, got that red balloon. Alright, we just gotta get the shit back at the beginning then. Got it. And we gotta hit that other side track. We've hit two of the side tracks so far. Yeah, there it is. I'm so glad I got this red one right here. I think you can get it on the route back. It's actually a little easier, but I don't know. Cool, got it. Come on. Is that the last red one? It was. Oh! First try. Nice. He's like, wow, you're a natural. Wanna ride the coaster? No. Aren't for anyone. I just rode it three times. Alright, so up there's the little tunnel of love ride. We're gonna do that last. We're going to Nelson. I hear you're a pretty good shot. How'd you like to try my shooting gallery? This is such a trivial minigame, but yeah, let's do it. I'll set the timer for you. So the timer is how long your your whatever lasts your super flame. See how stupid this is? You just keep shooting forward and you'll get them all very easily. Here's a token. Bada bing, bada boom. Ready for the next round? Okay, I'll set the timer for you. You don't even have to move it, like, up or down. You can just move it left or right. And just keep firing away. Maybe that's what it's for, though. It's just meant to let you unload on a bunch of enemies. I'm just sick of this shit. Here's a token. Uno mas? He says yes. Set that timer for me. That sounds groovy. Got these little fucking things. These little shits. Yeah, you're just a bunch of little shits, aren't you? Oh, get him! Great. Here is my last token. Your last one, man. Come on back anytime, Spyro. All right, sounds good, Nelson. If you try and walk up there, he stops you and brings you back down and talks to you. I tried. You got the these hoes. 
on the boats. You pay no money down and make no monthly payments. We got hoes on turn, boats. I'll give you one token. One is all I can give, but you can ride as many times as you'd like. So he gives you a token to ride. It's interesting. Oh, that guy's alone. So we got a monk and one of those Satyr girls. We got this guy again. I think this is supposed to be like a revolving cast of characters sort of deal. I don't know. We saw the Professor and Glimmer Mouse. We got a Satyr and a Spyro. And yeah, it is random because I had the I had a Satyr girl on the practice playthrough and I did it. Or I had a fawn and they're fawns. That's what they are. Try visiting the Dragon Shores Theater. That is all ten. Ooh -wee. Well, Spyro, it's your Ned. lucky day. You've managed to win enough tokens to enter the famous Dragon Shores Theater. Go on in and enjoy the show. Sounds groovy. So all this is, this lets you watch all the uh, cutscenes in the game here. You've unlocked all the cutscenes. Look at that. That's how you do that. Yeah. Nice. I'm a fawn, you dork. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's Dragon Shores, ladies and gentlemen. That's all it is. It's nothing too wild. Got the super flame now, so that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, and then we'll look at the guidebook again. Start with Summer Forest. You can see in the top left, though, already. 10,000 out of 10,000. 64 green orbs. I got to 49 lives. Man, I was one shy of completing it with 50, so they don't even give you really that many... They don't even, I mean, they give you about 50 lives total, I guess, to beat the game. If anyone ever wondered, like on average, you'll get around 50 lives. Cause I, I died twice, then I got like some couple random ones from sheeps actually at the end. So, or one was like from a frog or some shit. I don't know. We got it all. That's all of it. go <laughs> to the top yeah all the skill points we went through all the art already I showed you all the videos <clears throat> and we're done so that is it ladies and gentlemen that is Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage let's see so this is where we're at on our journey through the uh so you can look at it. Yeah, you can look at all the art combined then when you unlock stuff. That's pretty cool. Maybe I'll do that at the final episode after we complete Year of the Dragon. I'll go through all the artwork. But yeah, Artisans, Dragon Shores. So 120%. This one doesn't go higher than 100. This one stays there. But this is where we're next at on our journey. There's no background either, so hmm. Interesting. I don't know if they gain backgrounds as you play them or what. Probably it's where you're at. Like, see the backgrounds related to Dragon Shores. This one's Artisans. God, I love the first game so much. We'll get to Year of the Dragon at some point. I'm not sure when. That looks like a Mortal Kombat symbol behind it. That's funny. Anyways, we're going to end this episode here. I'm going to thank you all for watching. My name's Brian, and hopefully I will see you when we play Year of the Dragon. <laughs>